All right, thanks. Uh, welcome to today's stand-up. We are at the end of the week, and I hope you guys are enjoy enjoying the week, considering that you also had some break from Monday and Tuesday. How are you guys feeling? Any announcements from Ten Academy? I would like, do you have some announcement? Or from tutoring team? Seems like not any announcement. So we are going to start the, the stand up as usual. So you'll be sharing the progress. How are you finding the challenge? You know that this week's challenge is, of course, a real, a real project. Means like, so a company, Gokada, is trying to learn from the outcome from this project, from your results. So even top, top results from from your work will be shared with them so you need to really emphasize on like on it and work on it very thoroughly and also making sure that the results will be outstanding to be shared with uh, the company so they can learn much from you, you guys and make them grow first so i will be of course as usual Trying to hear from volunteers who is willing to start our standard by sharing the progress, how they're finding their this week challenge, any barriers, any blockers, any successes, so far that can be shared with the community. If you're willing to start, please put your hand up, then people can learn from you, the progress. I see if no one is trying to volunteer, we'll be calling names. He said, um, uh, thanks for volunteering. Uh, but before you continue, then just go wait for another hand. I say, I know you've been very active, but yeah, I could also be calling some other names so that to see how we can start the standard. Um, nothing here. So if you say, how go on. Please share with us. Yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, I hope everybody's having a nice uh, morning. Yesterday, basically, I started understanding what casual uh, influences mean and uh, how they can affect our uh, our project in this week's test. So basically, I read some materials, uh, started from the reference documents, which were provided in the uh, challenge document. So basically, uh, that's uh, where I'm at. I did some EDA to start uh, to start understanding more about the, the data that was provided by Google Canada. And I'm, I'm not really sure about what to say about the data at this point, but I think that will be more or less mm. <clears throat> like a technical part of the, the project and I'm communicating with several students on the Slack group. Also, I find this uh, the community to be very engaged at the, I don't want to say at the end, but at the third, uh, yeah, at the third part of this training and it's really nice, I think. Personally, for me, I'm getting along with several people, and we are trying to really understand the data behind doing those type of things. So, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't want to say anything about the EDA because I, I don't want to call it a blocker, but I'm actually getting uh, some type of, uh, I'm not really understanding some things about the data. So, yeah. That's where I am at. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Fiseha. So, two questions for me. So, how do you rate yesterday's guest talk in terms of helping you to understand the, the challenge better? So, were you able to attend the guest talk from the company representative? Yes, I actually uh, attended that talk. And okay. it's in that talk, 
I I I also uh, had several questions which were answered obviously, but mm. I don't know what happened yesterday. But my my internet connection was not as satisfactory as every days I would say. So I didn't quite get every question. I uh, I didn't quite get everything he said, but that's not his problem. It was my problem. It was from my end. My connection was slow. I am trying to uh, watch that again, and it really helped. The sometimes when you have you think you have questions, and when other people ask some other questions, you know the perspective, the, the dynamic perspective in which everybody brings really helps a lot to understand the data in a more deep way. So not only did I ask a question and get an answer, but Everybody did, and that also helped more to understand the data. This dynamic perspective really helped. If uh, th does that answer your question? Yeah, definitely. So that's really helpful because, like, if you can, if this is a real project, it means like it was really important to bring someone who is working in the company who can shed more lights, make sure that we understand the challenge. So removes some confusions and then you you said like yesterday you were basically reading through some reading materials uh trying to understand data so yes. what's your focus today yeah so today my focus will be continuing uh, doing the eda and actually completing the eda and starting this casual inference uh graphs and um, yeah, that, that would be my focus, but I would say the EDA is one of the most uh, one of the mo one of the highest uh, parts of where my attention is going to be focused today. All right, thanks, Lisa. Thanks for sharing. So yeah, I hope I, I wish you all the best uh, throughout the challenge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go to Adija. Good morning, Adija. Hi, good morning. Uh, so my yesterday was basically reading a lot on Confla inference and then reading more on longitude and latitude. When I started the video, I, I met some blockers. So I had to find out how, how it would because when I plot when I plot the origin, the start origin and the destination, when I plot them on the graph, they have the the it gives me it it gave me the same the same cluster on the same location. So that was the block I'm having. So I, I I was thinking of going about it the other way without using data shader. So yesterday was basically reading on on important uh, concepts to understand and then doing the EDA. Okay. So we mentioned a broker, but I didn't get it quite well. What was the broker? Uh, my my blocker was um, the EDA when I tried to plot the location on the map. It's given me. It was giving me the same cluster on the on the same on the same location. Whereas I plus different locations. These are location for destination and location for mm -hmm. location of origin, where the parcels are coming from and where they are going. I'm not supposed to get the same cluster. I don't know if that was me or it was the data. So that was the blocker that I was facing and still trying to find out how to. Yes, also. All right. Thanks, Adidas. So it means you're still having that broker, your block issue. Right no, I haven't. I haven't. I, I intend to use something else entirely. Not the data shader, but <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Maybe use okay. the pandas. Yeah. All right. Maybe so you can. You can use the the community just in case it keeps coming or you keep you, you keep facing that issue. So uh, definitely, yeah. 
Thank you. How is your optimist in terms of uh, the challenge? Uh, you know, tomorrow is uh, interim submission and Sunday is uh, yeah. final submission. How is your optimist? So I think I'm, I'm hopeful for the for the challenge. Of course, I, I don't think I can get everything done. But I think I can get some, something done, something a bit satisfactory. Okay. Um, great. great. Thanks, Adija. Thanks for sharing. So, also wish you all the best throughout the week as we are approaching the end. So, Nathaniel, I saw your hand, but I can't see it anymore. Are you still able to speak? Nathaniel? So we have to Nathaniel, Nathaniel Merese. Are you able to, okay, my, my special. Okay, hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, let me cover for the other Nathaniel. No, uh, no. <laughs> uh, yesterday, uh, as everybody said, uh, I was uh, studying what causal inference is, uh, how it's done, and I was just familiarizing myself with uh, concepts. And today morning, I started the EDA. Uh, so far, it's going, it's going good. Uh, uh, I won't say the on the blocker side. I'm getting an unusual uh, connection problems. I wasn't able to attend the yesterday's guest talk. Uh, I think I'm I missed a lot. That's all from my side. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So, um, were you able to follow up with anybody who was able to attend the, the guest talk? If there is any input you can borrow from them? Uh, yeah, uh, honestly, uh, I didn't uh, do that. Uh, I, I managed to attend some, some part of the talk, but I didn't get the whole part of the guest talk. That's what I would say. Okay. So what's your focus today and how is the optimist in terms of completing the challenge? Uh, today I'm going to be completing the EDA part. I'm, I'm very hopeful that I'll complete it by the end of the day. And yeah, I'm, pre I'm, I'm very optimistic that I'll complete the whole project by uh, Saturday or Sunday. Perfect. Thanks for sharing. Um, see you from other people. Let's hear from Mia Mukiza. If you can be able to speak, please unmute yourself and share. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, yesterday, as others uh, was trying, were trying to uh, explain, I tried to understand what is uh causal inference and the difference between uh causal inference and the statistical models uh i tried to read and watch videos and now i think i have a, a good an understanding on it uh then i went on and tried to understand the data set i tried to merge and see the insight from the data set but uh, I'm, think, I'm facing some blockers, uh, like uh, some columns uh, are having um, more than one record. So uh, I tried to reach out and uh, uh, I think this program will be so soon because Nat Nile showed me how I can do that. So um, I will continue to work on uh, the EDA and I hope to, at the end of the day, I will be able to complete it. Thank you. That's it from my end. Thanks, Mimuchiza. So, were you also able to attend yesterday's guest talk? And how was it helpful? Yeah, it was. Yes, I attended and it was so helpful because I was able to understand the business behind the 
seen, uh, what the data set means, what you want to get from the data set, what is the end product. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I managed to attend the whole session without any broker and uh, the questions from my peers help me understand more about the weekly challenge. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So are you optimistic in terms of, uh, of course, the, of doing, doing uh, yeah. and completing the challenge? I, I am optimistic. Uh, I see I will, I will be able to finish. Uh, it, it will require a lot of efforts as usual. But yeah, I will, I will try my best. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Miyamu Kiza, for sharing. And uh, so we saw the success throughout the week. So I can see many people are, of course, having hard time with internet. So sorry for that. Let's um, hear from Wangui. What's the update? What's up? Uh, I'm having uh, an okay time, I, I believe. Um, I'm planning uh, today, what I'm planning to do is work on EDA and uh, a bit of the report for the interim and then also uh, maybe um, which is it? Uh, create create a causal graph. Um, I have not encountered any blockers so far. I, I think because I haven't gone very far <laughs> with what <laughs> I'm planning on doing. Um, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> I know um, who to get help from um and i'm feeling uh, optimistic and um yeah i'm feeling optimistic i think the the two-day break was was really helpful uh i i think it was it was very very necessary at that point in time um i'm feeling refreshed and yes optimistic for this week and yeah i i hope <laughs> to encounter blockers in 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 my work today so that i can reach out yeah and no problem thanks for sharing i i wish you don't face any blockers uh, i i wish everything goes smooth but when you when you face it please use the community or any other resources so um, if you say hi any question or additional contribution before we move to Etina. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that yesterday, I think, Yaroban explicitly asked the guest talk mm -hmm. to actually mm -hmm. find the link between the first and the second table. And I think it was on order ID and on track ID. So maybe I can ask this on Slack and uh, personally I can get answers, but I think it will be better for everybody to just be uh, on the same page. So what I get from the guest talker was like, my as I said, it's my fault and the internet connection is really bad, it was really bad yesterday. And I what I thought I heard was like, no, they are not the same thing. But on the Slack groups, I saw people communicating like they are the same thing and we can basically join the two tables using that ID. So maybe if somebody really understood that concept, maybe uh, one minute or 30 seconds uh, catch up would be really nice, personally for me and for everybody on the group. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Lisa. It seems like we have some uh, contributors, Nathaniel or Wangi. Nathaniel, can you unmute? Yeah, can you hear me? If you are, okay. Okay, yeah, I've heard that, uh, yeah, I've heard Yabubar saying that too, but 
we can just join the table with some specific uh, parameters like for example uh, for the second table it's a broadcaster table so we might have duplicated uh, uh, order order ids for trip id in the in the table one we might have a duplicated id on the second table one but we can we have like an accepted id like the accepted one is always one one row is the accepted one so what i'm saying is for the biker id plus the driver id plus the order id is unique for the second table so we can actually merge it using the accepted status and also we can just add some status at the end we can merge we cannot directly merge it since we don't have actually the same the same structure but we can just find a way to merge it by using the accepted status that's the thought i have like in the merging side okay so uh if maybe i can uh, add up uh, so are you saying even if the second table is a broadcaster table the accepted driver action for whatever many order ids it may be is only one yeah, the driver can only accept one order. One order. What I mean is, like, let's say one order is broadcasted to like ten drivers. Only one driver can accept that particular tri trip or that particular oh. order. Okay. So basically, the trip a duplicate, ID. A duplicate can, accept for a same yeah, not, yeah. ID. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Nadia. So now it's clear for you. Or any other person who thinks they are not on the same page, please feel free to raise this. Because it's better if everybody understands what we are doing and also follows the same like instruction. It's really better when we do so. That's why we have a team and group meeting like every day as a standard. So at internet, is it just on this? Is a question or you yeah, need yeah. to give the update? This is another question I have. Okay. Was this now? Is this now from to say clear to your end? On your end? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's it is a different question for like every everybody to answer, or maybe okay. like the technical source to answer. Okay. My question is uh, so yesterday on the guest talk. Uh, uh, we, uh, Yabavod asked uh, the guest to like provide us the unfulfilled uh, or orders or the unfulfilled like uh, uh, yeah. So uh, the the data we got doesn't include that. So uh, it, and it would not help us to give uh, 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 to do the optimization and uh, to give uh, uh, you know like a proposition to improve the system. So we needed that uh, unfulfilled request. So uh, have we got that yet? Uh, yeah, that's my question. Uh, have, we, have, have we got that from the guest? I'm just writing to you about that, like, like a follow-up. I guess I had that from the guest talk as well, but let me follow up. So. Uh, we can update you once we get the information. Sure, sure. Thank you. Etienne, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hi. <clears throat> so what I wanted to say that is this week's uh, uh, project is uh, particularly interesting because it's um, uh, like it's a real, uh, it's a real project really. It's a real world project. Uh, we are working on directly. I have been yesterday. I have been trying to understand how casual inferences works, um, uh, Python networks, and I'm, I'm I, uh, I have I haven't gotten so far because I was I, I had other uh, things to do yesterday. But uh, 
this morning and uh, I will continue to arrive on the service. I haven't started working on the ADS, but this is my next step. Um, yeah, so uh, this, is, this is all uh, from my side, yeah, so um, I I'm just saying that this, um, really this project this week is very, very interesting for me. I'm trying to learn as much as I can, but I also try to not to get to the twist, not to, not to, but not to spend so much time, maybe, uh, to get so deep into the, to the theory behind everything, but yeah. Thanks, Athena. I'm glad to hear that it's interesting and, you know, it's, uh, you're working on a real project because, you know, it's going to, to affect um, another company's performance and they will, of course, rely on your outcome or output. So I'm, I'm really happy to hear that it's interesting. So how are you optimistic or confident in terms of understanding the challenge so far? Um, yeah, um, I'm very optimistic. So. I mean, I, as I said, it's very interesting. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to, to understand, well, to, I have so many questions. <laughs> I have uh, so many things that I want to understand really. Uh, and it comes to okay. the talk, to the guest talk yesterday. It was, it was uh, really, um, how to say, it's a, it's, it was a nice experience in, into like, getting this like you're meeting this business and you're trying to understand what the, what their goals from from what they're asking because maybe they don't they are not really asking the questions um i mean try to understand the goal behind it is, is really important because maybe you can formulate different questions than the ones that are posed i don't know if i'm i'm saying something that is, that makes sense but i don't know um yeah it was it was it was great to attend the talk yesterday amazing thanks for sharing Etina. so let's hear from other people how they are understanding the challenge and also any broker so far or any success they can share so, then if i can hear from Johannes. Are you able to speak so you can share with us? If Johannes can't speak, uh, Margaret, what's the update? Good morning. Currently, currently, um, I am loving the challenge. Um, it's um, it's a very interesting project, and I am currently working on EDA. Uh, the main blocker I had yesterday was uh, trying to get my files from. DVC, uh, but I found out free. Um, I, yeah, I don't want to be too optimistic because the the challenges always start looking okay, but during the week it gets very tough. So just be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. But as long as you currently see it as a, a doable challenge. I hope it continues like that. And yeah, wishing you all the best. So, as you know, the submission is uh, tomorrow and also Sunday. Yeah. I hope you will be able to tackle them. And also, you know, it doesn't, it's not a matter of like completing everything, but it's a matter of having something like presentable, something. Yeah. Because no one that expects you to to make it like more like outstanding or 
like because there's based on the timeline we have so you cannot get to that point but at least you have something that you can even improve after even, even the training is over but you improve on what's what's there already uh, thank you for sharing so any other person it can be uh, maybe a question um, update that you can share Let, let's hear from Janet and like more two people good morning. Good, morning. Uh, good morning yeah okay uh, from my side uh, uh, starting from a survey, I'm trying to read some uh, points about the challenge. And the challenge is very interesting because it is uh, real, uh, really solving the problem of some uh, well-known companies. And uh, I'm trying to work on EDA and I'm trying to uh, understand some uh, Data, data variables, which is needed some uh, uh, to get some drive uh, drive variables from those uh, data variables, and uh, uh, still I'm fine, and uh, I'm working on it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, but it's breaking. But you can keep going. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> about yesterday's uh, guest talk uh, is much helping uh, and supportive to understand <coughs> the data and the whole uh, business uh, 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 rule of the companies. And uh, uh, I, 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 I was attended the whole uh, session. <coughs> and that was very helpful. And uh, still now I don't have any uh, blockers. I was trying to uh, understand and trying to work on it. And I hope I will uh, submit uh, the whole uh, the uh, projects on time on tomorrow and uh, on Sunday. Thank you. That's, that's great. Thanks for sharing and um, happy to to hear from how optimistic you are in terms of talent from creation. Yeah. Yes, also another uh, question about yesterday's ghost talk. The data we gained is, yeah. um, the data we have right now is Again, this is my understanding, and I didn't quite hear everything, so I'm just clearing things up. So the data we get is basically, I think the person said all of the trips, all of the, oh, I'm sorry, all of the orders that drivers accepted, right? Maybe the, let's make let's be on the same page on here first. The data we gained is okay about uh, on okay. where drivers said okay we can do this right yeah let's open it from other team uh, because um nathaniel what's your point uh, uh i don't know where uh, maybe if you try to, like to filter with the accepted status from the driver's data uh, there are only like 25,000, there are only like, let me be exact, there are only uh, 25,903. 25, yeah, so yeah, okay. I don't think all the all, all the or all, all the trips in the in the first data set in the NB one, all I don't think all of them are the accepted ones. We have like, I, I think ones. yes, I'm I yeah. Yes, I understand that. But what I was trying to say was, uh, for example, let's let's think of it this way, right? If I 
if you ordered something and I said, okay, I am going to deliver, that doesn't necessarily mean I am going to deliver, but just it's a confirmation. I will try to deliver. Maybe something happened in the middle and maybe I couldn't deliver or maybe you don't want the product anymore. So that being the basic understanding, I, I thought the person yesterday was saying like, this data we gave you was like the orders that drivers took i mean took by by took i mean like said okay we can deliver but at the end some were delivered and some were not delivered and i that was my uh that was my whole question did did he really say that is that what we have because i i also think about saying maybe if we get the answer maybe if we can get the orders that uh that co-users or customers wanted to have but the driver said no it would be really nice because we can have this uh this this holistic approach on the data i think that 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 was uh, i don't want to confuse anybody because it's um i just wanted to uh make sure if that was the case yes That's, you're right actually uh, we only hello. have the uh, fulfilled orders so uh yeah you, you have a point that was the <coughs> question previously we need to have Sorry. the unfulfilled orders so the user asks and uh, uh the drivers like rejected so th there is at least one driver like accepting the requests all the requests so there is no unfulfilled orders in the data set yeah sorry to intervene but uh, fish uh... Have you seen the other table that uh, relates the trip ID with uh, some uh, that contains uh, trip ID and the trip uh, origin and destinations? I I I I made a glance at it. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I think see as far as I, I I see the data on that table, it's related to the other table which uh, states the or which displays the driver locations and if uh, the status of uh, if we have an accepted order on the driver's location so that would result some trip on the trip table if you have uh, looked at it like that so so what so what you're saying what you're saying is like on the first table there's a yeah. Uh, there's a is that the trip and if somebody accepted that on the first table on the first exactly. table there is an order i i mean yeah 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 there is a trip then if somebody accepted that this uh order would result to a trip i think so, so the trip that would have... trip ID, okay so the first trip id is going to be recorded on the second table as an order id if somebody yeah. accepted that uh, yeah as far as yeah. i understand that is what the pattern uh, shows okay. i think it's the other way around fish i mean okay no, no, take, uh, i think that's what like Mik mikhail is trying to say right so there is this uh or like orders uh, that they uh, the pilot has to accept right so accepting that order would trigger or like would yeah. make would trigger a trip up yeah Okay. Right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, thank you. We will see more into that. So, Andanet, Andanet, and she said, her does the maker comments um, uh, remove the confusion if we we see need and fulfilled uh, 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 and fulfilled data? I don't know because you ask it that data you need to follow up. To Yabeba, does it fix the, the the issue, or we still have to chase uh, someone from the company to to send us those information? No, actually, the that that's not a problem. It's like it's more like a data, a holistic approach to solve this whole things so to really understand more about the data. But the the, the guest talk was uh, was he was uh, okay he said he, he will look into that and email Yababal. so that is not a real problem 
th these are these are like more technical questions that we were kind of asking each other but i really don't think yeah. that 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 is going to be a blocker because uh, in spite of that data being not in our uh, local storage we can still continue and do this eda even if we are not doing the full the full eda on the full data right so yeah, so, I think we could do the EDA, but for the machine learning, we uh, still need uh, the unfulfilled data from the company. So it would be nice if we have about reach out to them and give us. But for the interim submission, I, I don't think we, we need that. Yababa has already already written an email to them. So they will re respond with data if they can. But I also say that you can still continue even if the data is not provided. Yeah. That's that's the update from the other data. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, for sure. Thank you. So Michael. Okay. Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, morning. Uh, my update uh, about yesterday is uh, yesterday was uh, more about uh, reading and uh, understanding uh, different terms about casual inference and how it is uh, done uh, on various data sets. I have tried to look at some GitHub repositories and I have to uh, try to read some medium blogs and that was uh, fine. And I have tried to start working on the EDA part. And uh, one thing I would like to ask is uh, on the task two of if uh, on the task one if someone has read that uh, on the task one we were required to uh, to uh, provide or to come up with extra uh, parameters which are most relevant for uh, order compilation like uh, do, uh, if there is rain uh, versus no rain rain or uh, holiday versus no holiday and different types of uh, factors that would uh, contribute or that would be relevant to be added to the data set uh, uh, and that would affect uh, the order completion uh, in the data set but uh, as we can see this uh, rain versus no rain and holiday versus no, not holiday can be extracted from a public domain data and uh, that extraction uh, needs some uh, timestamps and locations. We uh, uh, we should have uh, we we that we uh, timestamps and locations we can extract from what uh, is provided to us. And uh, we are uh, I think on the provided data set we are okay with the location part, but uh, I don't know how we can deal with such types of uh, tasks without having a time frame or a timestamp for each row in the provided data set. All right. Thanks, Michael, for the input, for sharing. So in, any other person that we have a chat from? Let's hear from Tegisti. Logistic and new. Are you able to speak? Yeah, with us, the progress or any broker that you faced so far? All right. Uh, Patrick? Patrick, if you can hear me, please. Open your mic and speak. Hey, good morning. Morning. Uh, so, no broker yet. So I'm now on EDS stage. So I'm looking uh, forward today to work on uh, or to finish with the uh, EDA. Then uh, uh, write uh, write uh, the documentation and co uh, continue from there. So no broker yet. All right, thanks for sharing. Michael, you had a hand. 
He's gone. Go on, Micah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mika. Can you can can you speak? I see your hand is on. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, 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 I had a blocker on uh, task one, uh, exercise two, that says that requires us to come up with other relevant features for the, the data sets that can uh, really improve or that can show. Uh, uh, the relevance uh, that can show relevance for order completion in the data set so uh, we need uh, time and uh, we need timestamp and locations uh, from uh, what we are provided and we are required to come up with based on this time and location we are required to come up like to deduct some uh, features like rain versus no rain what is the effects of rain versus no rain on order completion rate and what is the effect of holiday versus not holiday on uh, order completion so if we see this uh, uh, two uh, metrics or parameters like rain versus no rain and holiday versus not holiday they need some time stamp to work with i think so uh, we are a provided location uh, that's fine, but we are not provided with a time frame or a timestamp for uh, the data in, inside the data set. So, how we are supposed to work on some, uh, uh, to, how we are supposed to create some relevant features based on having only location on our side. Okay. So. Can you can you get that from the first, uh, from the second table? I suppose the, the first table, I, I suppose one of them has uh, time and date. Okay. So I also see oh. input from Adija. Adija, do you want to clarify this in a, another way? Um, no, that's what I wanted to. I didn't get him at first. That's what I wanted to add. That there's a date column in one of the one of the sets, and that can be used. You can just get the public. I have not done it, but I think it's maybe you can just okay. get the public uh, public uh, data online about Lagos, Nigeria, all of this for that particular period of time of our data, of our data set, and then use it to make a, a column. That that suggests if it's a if it is a holiday or not. Perfect, um, Mika. I guess you get it now. Okay, fish. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Uh, uh, there are two uh, uh, time frames, right? Yeah, trip yes. start time. Do you mean the trip start yeah. time and the trip in time? Yeah, I, I no, I it was just a suggestion, more and more okay. like a question. It was like, okay. can't we okay. refer or if we join the two tables and if we create a relationship between the two tables, if there's yeah. basically a, a a date or and a time on one of the tables, can't we use that for both tables? If it yeah, was like the more thing is, yeah. yeah, the thing is, uh, I think uh, as uh, I've been doing some EDA to uh, deduct how many uh, rows in the data in the trip uh, table uh, does not ha have a null value. So on the start time, I have uh, found like one thousand and six hundred rows are missing some timestamp. Yeah, so okay, maybe some imputing or removal can be done to work with that yeah okay i i, I thought your question was we don't have time uh type time type of data so how are we supposed even to even uh, we have two time stamps or two time stamps for a trip so does that mean uh if uh 
if you have seen uh, the question that is order completion so uh, for order completion i think it should be uh, much related to the order table not the trip table the uh, the order table uh, does not have any timestamp and also even though the the trip table has some uh, timestamps there, there are two timestamps how can we deal with that uh okay so i really don't uh, have a clear understanding so, um, of how to sorry go to on. That. yeah uh, so just to I feel like... jump on, on michael's question okay uh I think the, the the dates are the same. You don't have a trip that ends that starts today and in tomorrow. The dates are the same, so you can yeah, basically yeah. like the forecasted weather for that particular. So, date. yeah, we can work with uh, one. Yeah, we can. So, so if we boil this down, we can uh, work with that for the holidays. But uh, rain can come any time at the date so have you get me sorry i have re I, I had like a really bad connection or uh, maybe so then so on slack uh, okay we can talk on slack okay thank you guys let's use slack and also if we have tutorial coming you can if we have time allows on the tutorial you can probably uh on it so it seems like we are at the end of the the stand up we unfortunately we don't have a, a hot seat but we have some minutes like seven minutes uh i know sometimes some hot seat is not like something that that's set on on the stone if we can have someone who can be willing to probably be a hot sitter why not? We can do like in five minutes. Fish, do you nominate someone? So we, we don't have to follow procedures. If we, we know the hot seat is doesn't need to be highly preparatory and uh, nobody needs to be ready for it or spend some minutes or time to prepare. I, I can, I, I'll take I, this for the team. Let me take this one for the team. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Adijat, I see your, your hand was up. Are you? Uh, no, fish, fish has volunteered. I wanted to volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so were, were you part, have you ever been a hot seater as one day previously? Or is it going to be new? Then you can, we can go. Is that is the question directed for me for or for Adju? Adju. Adju. Uh, it's Adija. Uh, yes, I've been I've been on the hot seat before. Sorry, you mean we, we can start ask, asking you questions? No, I said I've been on the hot seat before. Oh, Please, okay. Questions to, to fish. So, <laughs> guys it was my proposal so <laughs> this is not to be like <laughs> we have like six minutes you know we can benefit from that then we throw some questions someone who is willing to let us know them if not we can wait for tomorrow's hot seat uh, otherwise i know i know fish has been on hot seat there there is no need to have him again i think everyone has been on hot seat here it's just two people left Maybe you can do a random yeah. question to everyone. <laughs> oh, sorry. that was too who fast. Is, who is not on the hot seat, Emilia? Just two people left. Is it from really? the trainees okay. or from the Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not here. So, Emilia, we need I'm to sure, formulate sure, in the sure. way that. We have same same question. You can we can. I'm saying we need to formulate in the way that we we have similar sessions. It can be ask me any question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's new thing coming. All right. So, 
Cheers, guys. Uh, let's meet on the next uh, stop. All right. Wishing, wishing you All a right. great week. Yes.